What is hypnosis? Hypnosis is a natural yet altered state of awareness. It's natural in that you go into and out of and through the state of hypnosis all by yourself, all on your own, without someone like me making you go there, without any drugs, without having to meditate, without any real conscious effort on your behalf, your mind naturally does this state. How do I know this? And how can you know this? Have you ever been driving in a car along a piece of road that you might travel all the time and found that you've already got to your turn off and you didn't even realize that much time had passed by and you're there already? Or you're driving along and you're going down a road that you go down a lot but this time you're going somewhere different and you end up where you're normally going. Because you just kind of tuned out and kept driving and something within you drove you to this place. You didn't because you were too busy off thinking about something else. This is a naturally altered state of awareness where a deeper part of ourselves has control of the reins and does the work for us. The same thing happens when we're going to sleep at night and when we're waking up again in the morning. As you go to sleep at night you you drift more and more out of this this beta brainwave state that we're in right now and we drift down through the levels of brainwave activity deeper into alpha, beta and slowly deep dreamless sleep of delta. As we go through this naturally as we go to sleep once we end up in the deeper alpha lighter theta stages we can be kind of slightly awake and slightly still asleep. But we don't know how close to awake or asleep we are until we hear a dog bark that alerts us and wakes us up or a child screams or our partner might elbow us and we'll get into bed or all of a sudden we're not asleep anymore or we're not as close to sleep as what we didn't realize we already were and we're wide wide awake. It's this jolt back into beta brainwave activity and full waking consciousness that makes us realize we were in an alternate state of consciousness. That state is what you could call hypnosis. And that's what we do together in my chair, which can happen over Skype or in my chair in person. So we use hypnosis to help access the positive intention of our own inner wisdom. All parts of us are innately, I believe, good. But the way in which our parts or our subpersonalities or these deeper aspects of our personality might play out might not be so healthy. So my work is to help you become more aware of how you perceive the world around you by getting to know your belief systems better. In other words, inquiring into who am I? Inquiring how is this mind? Who is this mind? What is this mind? What is this mind doing? As we inquire into these questions, we get a deeper appreciation for the deeper sense of self. A self that's always present, it's forever aware and it's wide awake. This wide awake self that is who we want to be in our driver's seat. Not these erratic other little parts that are running around willy-nilly without a very good job description. So hypnosis for me is about helping you better know yourself so that we can reprogram that which is not working in your life to help you more fully connect with the deeper, more truer, authentic aspects of yourself so you can really deeply realize your full potential.